kids are cutting their own movies together. They're, they're not just sh shooting footage and letting footage exist. We want to lean into the idea that really the, you know, Tuck, the, the kid who films this movie, has, um, he's not only shot the whole thing, he's also cut the whole thing. And he's put music to it when he feels like it's necessary. And he's put titles in there and he can pause the movie and he can interject and he can kind of um, add commentary. There was a looseness to the way we kind of made the movie. Uh, obviously, like we have, we had a script every day, and there was, you know. But I, you know, when I hired the kids, I we all sat together and I said, you know, it's. I hired you guys because you're you're great, and I have a lot of trust in you, and I just want you to know, like it was basically welcome to the team, but it was also I just wanted to empower the kids to feel totally comfortable and totally like, you know, basically free on set. If they felt like they wanted to invent something, great. If they, you know, we would always have them do the lines, but some of the best stuff in the movie that makes the, at least the kids' relationships feel real is that little filler stuff that we could never come up with, you know? Building suspense out of what the characters didn't know was, probably the most exciting part because we were able to kind of put ourselves in the kids' shoes and say, okay, what if, what if I found a map on my cell phone that led out to the middle of the desert, you know? What would I do with it, you know? And, and if I was 12 years old, 13 years old, and I didn't have the power to just get in my car and drive out there, you know? Um, the, the question mark of what the map is and what it leads to was, you know, it was a huge driver for the kids in, in getting out to the desert, and it's also a huge driver for for us as the audience, like not knowing what's what's ahead of us. This group has imagination, and they have you know, um, they're they they want they want to discover something, and they also have. It's, you know, the story takes place on the last night that these kids are getting to spend with one another because they're, they are being forced to kind of move out of their neighborhood. So, um, you know, the movie is really about, um, it's about this group of kids and, and, and how they have to say goodbye to each other and how they have the best adventure of their lives and how their lives are changed on what is, what, what feels like their last night that they'll ever see each other again. Alex comes from, you know, a, a, like a tough upbringing, and um, you know he's he's used to he's used to not having the kind of friends that he's come to have in the past few years um, in in the movie, um, and having having this ground with with Munch and Tuck as his best friends is really like it is the best part of his life, you know, and. Um, you know, because he's, he's really never had that. And in this story, he's basically being forced to move again because of what's happening in this neighborhood. I mean, what's, what was so important for me is just kind of telling a story about kids who could actually inspire change and they could change things on their own and they could, um, and that's the same. The same could be said about Echo, who's this tiny little creature that you think is, you know, wounded, and that you think is is powerless, and you think he's helpless, and um, and you think he's too small to really do anything. At, at the beginning, you think he's just junk in the middle of the desert. What Tuck really does in the movie is he he's he is Tuck is the motivator. You know, Tuck is. Um, the one who says, let's not, let's not be lazy, let's not take no for an answer, let's not, um, let's not think small, let's think big, let's be inspired, let's go out to the middle of the desert, let's go on the biggest adventure we've ever been on, and um, let's see if we can change our course. Um, and they do. I think for us, and what was so great about like Maxime, our cinematographer was, he, he's got a very, you know, childlike kind of imagination and he was, he was great at thinking about where the camera would go from 
the character's point of view, and he would say, "Oh, it wouldn't go here. It, it would it would go here because this guy's scared, and he would he would duck right now." You know, and you want to feel that energy and that emotion like in the camera work. I didn't want to make him just a robot. You know, I said if he's going to be a robot, we have to give him a soul, and we have to. We have to feel for him, and we have to feel like he there is an organic core to him, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, certain certain care, like animation ideas came up, like, okay, he can he can breathe, you know, and it just 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 by nature of having something organic that that can that takes in your air and breathes your air, just gives him soul. One of the things that you know I'm super ha happy about and, and proud of, you know, we sh we got gotten to show the movie to a couple audiences and, uh, you know, we've heard from some kids and, you know, one kid said, you know, he was like, you know, eight or nine years old and he's like, what I love about this movie is that it tells you that, you know, you can accomplish anything you set your mind to. And I'm like, wow, I didn't know, you know, that's, that's great. I didn't know we were making that movie, but that's fantastic. And I think, you know, at the end of the, at the end of the movie, the kids have really, accomplish something um, that's much bigger than them um, and you know just thematically it's it's that that's that's what the movie is about it was important to me because when, when I go to the movies like I want to eat popcorn and like have a great time and I want to laugh and I want to cry I want to be excited you know and I want great action and you know suspense and I want to feel for my characters, you know, and that's, um, that, that's, you know, so whether or not Echo was a horror movie or a sci-fi or a comedy or, um, you know, whether or not we dipped into any different genre, it, it was, it always came back to how do we kind of make it the most fun ride we can and, and also tell it from our character's point of view, which is kind of a, a little, a little rare. Growing up doing like flipbooks, it's it's very t tempting and easy to say, oh, let's make this. You know, you can really animate um, one el element at a time, and 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 working with the animators in, in that way was just like the funnest. You know, it was the funnest and, and easiest part of the job, and that's that was a huge blast. You know, I go to the movies to have have a great time, and um, when we were making this movie. Um, we we had we had a great time making it on set, and and I hope some of the energy of, you know, I, I I hope the, I hope the feeling of being, you know, you know even if if you are 12 or 13 years old and you see this movie and you feel like you're being taken on a, a real adventure, that's great. If you're an adult and you're going to this movie and you are remembering what it felt like to be that age. Um, you know, that's great too. What was so important for me is just kind of telling a story about kids who could actually inspire change and they could change things on their own.